Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do your weekly reading. This is going to be July 13th through the 19th. Everything you need to know is in the description box. I'm not going to go over it. I'm a little crunched for time this week. I'm going through um, a home move. So uh, check it out. The only thing I will uh, bring up is if you're new to my channel, I am doing a giveaway at the end of the month. I am giving away two personal readings. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. You just need to like and comment. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm going to pull um, some tarot. We will do some romance angel cards after to bring in love. And um, like I said, this week's reading will be a little bit shorter. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's get started. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Leo is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Leo the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this gives them healing and it gives them clarity. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may there only be love and light here. Amen. All right. So what does Leo need to know? July 13th through the 19th. Let's get, oh, we got two cards. Let's get one more card, please. We got two. All right. Now, um, if you're new to my channel, for the weeklies, anything goes. Can be career, finances, love, uh, situations with family and friends. Uh, so take the messages, how they resonate with you. And also energies can be reversed. Okay. Wow. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And with the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. I feel like for some of you, there's something uh, big coming in here. Could be an offer. Um, you know, a, a job offer could be a promotion. Uh, you could receive a sum of money here. Um, but you are going to get some communication here. All right. So for some of you, this might help you with some new endeavor or you may be going back to school. Uh, I feel here some of you may be purchasing a home. Uh, so beautiful energy here. Okay, so the universe is, is rewarding you in some way. This also can be a love offer here, um, an offer of, you know, something more stable, long-term committed here. Now, this is uh, Earth energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is your energy, Leo, or you could be dealing with a Sag, an Aries, or another Leo here. Okay. Now, the next card you have is the Six of Pentacles, which is just beautiful. So I feel here you may be receiving, like I said, a large sum of money from someone, um, or you may be helping someone out as well. Okay, but I feel here financially, this is definitely going to bring some balance into your life. And then the next two cards you have here, we have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Judgment card. So we have a lot of Earth energy here, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Okay. Now, if this is love for you, um, I feel like there may be somebody from your past. Okay. Somebody from your past who may be returning, who wants to work on things with you, uh, may want to put in the work this time, um, something more balanced give you more something more stable more committed <coughs> excuse me if this is not love for you um, and you know with the judgment card here you know definitely can be somebody from your past now remember when I say the past it doesn't necessarily have to be like the last relationship you had it can be anybody from your past it could be somebody from high school this can also be a past life as well um, but I feel like it's somebody you know, and it's somebody who definitely wants to put in the time and energy, okay? Now, if this is not love for you, definitely I feel like your hard work is paying off. There is some type of financial reward coming in for you. I feel here too, um, you know, this is uh, here with the judgment. This could also be a judgment from a court case okay that you've been working on this can also be um you know a karmic um you know karmic effort here or karma is rewarding you 
Um, I see here there could be children involved in this situation. This could have to do, like I said, a court case, uh, you know, a divorce case, a child support case. So I feel there's definitely some good communication coming in this week. All right. Let's pull um, three more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Leo July 13th through the 19th? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Okay. Oh, wow. We have the Hierophant here. Okay. The Justice card. Beautiful. And, oh, my gosh, Leo. And the Ten of Cups. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting so excited for you. Look at this. We have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Wow. For a lot of you, I feel like this is going to be love. Okay. All right. So we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Hierophant. Okay. A lot of you, I feel here, this may be um, an offer of commitment this week. Could be dealing with Taurus energy here. Okay. If not, um, if this is not love for you, I feel here that this is definitely uh, the universe and the divine um, and your higher power really um, giving you what you need at this time. They're really uh, paying it forward. Okay, and then we have here the Six of Pentacles and the Justice card. All right, look at you have two scales here. Two scales here. Could be dealing with the Libra. Uh, definitely feel here this is going to be a week that is going to be very very um, stable grounded you're going to gain some clarity in the situation um, things are going to come into balance again we have justice here there could be like I said a court case um, or a contract or something's going through here and you're going to receive a large amount of money I feel it's large, okay, if this is money for you. If it's not money, then um, the abundance is love here. But things are definitely coming into balance for you through this week. This is beautiful. And like I said, for a lot of you, I do feel like here this is love. Okay, you got the lover's card here. So very strong connection. I feel a uh, soulmate divinely guided. And then look here. We I talked about somebody from the past, Eight of Pentacles, someone returning from the past. And look here, you have the Ten of Cups. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So I feel like if this is love for you, definitely there is somebody coming back into your life that wants a commitment. Uh, if this is not love for you, I feel here there is a, a financial situation that's happening this week, okay, that um, is really going to make you emotionally happy. Now, with the lover's card here, this can be a choice or a decision if this is not love, or it can be love as well, but there may be some type of choice or decision that you have to make this week, okay? But your cards are just beautiful. I see here um, definitely beautiful energy. So we have the lover's card, okay? So the next card that you have, is, and this is Gemini energy, if I didn't say that as well. We have the Nine of Swords, okay? So this may be a situation, um, a love situation or a, a financial situation or something to do with a contract that may have worried you in the past. You may have been, you know, thinking a lot about it, had some fears about it, uh, you know, maybe having trouble sleeping at night. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. And then we have here um, the death card, okay? So I feel this situation is definitely going through a transformation, okay? Like I said, there was worry in the past, could be dealing with a Scorpio. But look here, you have beautiful, you have the two of cups, okay? So I definitely feel here, you're gonna feel emotionally good about this situation. To, this is either you're going to feel emotionally good or you're going to come you're coming together with your soulmate okay the person you're you're meant to be with all right so let's move on i'm going to pull some romance angel cards beautiful reading so far leo here we go thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have for leo july 13th through the 19th what messages do you have for Leo? Ooh, we got new love. Some of you, this may be new love. Okay. 
So first card, okay, you got this card again. Free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life, okay? So I feel like you may have been in this energy in the past and um, I feel here you may have felt stuck in the past, but I feel here <laughs> once you see the coin here, that's not going to be, um, that, that energy is going to pass really quickly. You're going through transformation right now, transition. There's something definitely beautiful coming in for you. And then we have here new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings here. So, you know, whether this is a new person coming in for you or somebody from the past, it's definitely um, something new, okay, a renewal. So even if it is somebody from the past, definitely is something that has transformed into something beautiful, okay, that maybe in the past was an energy where you felt stuck, but I feel here that's changing. And then look here, you have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? So you may have lost faith in the past here, but look, judgment is here, okay? So trust, uh, spirit is definitely guiding this. The universe is definitely giving you this abundance here. So trust in the process here. So just beautiful, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this reading and gained some clarity. Um, again, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.